Kenyan youth account for 37% of Kenya's population. Every year, over 1.3 million young Kenyans enter the job market despite the low number of jobs generated by the economy, as 70% of Kenyan youth are unemployed. If you have a big portion of the youth unemployed, unable to really participate in terms of economic and social development, then that by itself is not very good for the country. In my own opinion, the reason why my youths wengi hawana kazi, manake onachagonga kazi. To address the challenge of unemployment, the country will have to generate over 112,000 jobs per month. This means that while the government is responsible for economic growth, it cannot tackle the unemployment challenge on its own. Kenya kilinipea mutisha ya kuweza kuapply kwa imuradi ya kepsani kwa nilikuwa na ile haja ya kujua mengi na kusoma sana. I value entrepreneurship and I value business and I'd like to add on what it is that I know and to polish my skills. So I went looking for that um, information from KEPSA. In 2010, a one-of-a-kind public-private partnership dubbed the Kenya Youth Empowerment Project, KYEP, was rolled out with the aim of supporting the government to improve youth employability. KYEP brought together the government under the Ministry of Devolution and Planning, the private sector under Kenya Private Sector Alliance, KEPSA, and the World Bank, seeking to offer training geared towards boosting youth employability and entrepreneurship. This was a unique public-private partnership that departed from the conventional energy and infrastructure projects. So what I'm saying is that experience is very expensive. And that is what KEPSA is trying to give you here. So the thing is, how do you become a marketable brand? Uh, the mentorship program has been really awesome. I've learned a lot of things. I've picked a lot of things from the mentors who are brought on board. Something that I've uh, picked from the mentorship is uh, employment is not the only way to go. We have to be job creators. So any men mentorship or motivational talk that is being held out there, if you are a young person, you can attend and that might be uh, an, a door opening for you or a network opportunity. The project runs under two components, namely private sector training and internship under KEPSA and capacity building and policy development for the Ministry of Devolution and Planning, making it the first public-private partnership aimed directly at addressing youth unemployment. The most valuable skill that I got from the KYP program was the core business skills training where you are taught various uh, business skills. I'm an engineer working with the National Housing, a project in Arab West where they have the problem of water flooding on, the, on their houses. So now I'm doing them a biodigester. Because our biodigester is not only to treat waste, it will produce gas and it will serve the four houses with gas. From where I've come from, Mpaka Mahali Manifikisha, Imeni Mold, to be who I am. Part of our corporate culture is uh, corporate social responsibility. And that being a part of us as Style and Carpet, we always go out to see how can we give back to the society. And because of this, when we were invited for the employers meeting by KEPSA, we quickly grabbed that opportunity to be involved with the internship program. The interns who come through KEPSA KYP uh, pretty much are more confident, you know, they're more much aware of where they're going. They are able to settle down in a place of work faster than any other kind of uh, candidate. And one thing I've realized is that we have what it takes. These great minds you see here, they are great minds. They are transforming organizations. Nilipojua strength yangu maliko na nikajua potential yangu, weakness yangu, kila kitu changu. Nilipokuja huku, nilijaribu kutumia ile skills enye nilikuwa nimepewa. My experience with KYP has been great, great. One of the things that led it to a success from my perspective is the fact that KEPSA gave a lot of background support. We learned that from KEPSA that you can easily go that registration process and start your own company. I know how to handle myself. The business I opened, um, I called it Smart Urban Farm Technologies because that's what I do and part of what we were taught is how to structure a name for your business. So I wanted a name that would explain exactly what I do. It's made it 
much easier to get uh, candidates for roles that, uh, that we need in our organization. The employees have also had an opportunity to mentor because when we take the interns, we place them under somebody. As business people, really, we have a big and major role to play in terms of ensuring that our youth have an avenue, have a place whereby they can, they can really earn their daily bread. There was a skill we learned eh, from Kepsa about creativity. When you got a job or when you are employed or when you have an idea, you have now to, to be creative. Eh? So now it's when now we came with a design. We call it Waste to Energy Biodigester. Before um, the KWP program, I was still doing business, but it was um, a little bit disorganized. The training really helped me to redefine business and especially the entrepreneurship training and the business skills. I also redefined business in terms of, I went now out to do the same thing that I did, I, I do at my demo farm, now for other people. So I'm addressing to many employers out there, thousands of employers. Please open up those doors for these young people. The private sector needs to continue supporting these kind of initiatives. The World Bank needs to continue funding these kind of initiatives. Instead of having this as a government-driven project, then it can also be a private sector-driven project. Kepsa yendele na kama ilikuwa na chukua 5,000 people, ilikuwa 10, ama 15,000. It's been a very good program. I know for Diver Assistant in Central Africa has, has benefited a great deal from it. And from what I see, the interns who have gone through our system have also benefited. KYEP has been successful in placing youth in paid jobs, resulting in increase on current employment numbers among both male and female participants. Over 20,000 youth have so far benefited from the trainings, out of which 85% are now economically engaged. I have a workshop here where we are. It's Fortune Furnitures. Right now I'm doing my internship with the KEPSA program. Working uh, for KEPSA. Photographer intern. After the KEPSA program, I came in and I redefined business for myself. Yes. I attained a lot from it, a lot of skills, a lot of confidence, a lot of self-esteem in me. I'm now who I am because of KEPSA. KYEP is proof that public-private partnerships can pay better dividends on youth employment. I thank the government and World Bank for helping us. The Kenya Youth Empowerment Project, in pursuit of an empowered youth.